welcome back to prison plan slap. You might be asking yourself, what is prison plan slap? Why are we here today? What is this video series? Who am I? This series will hopefully help some of you get to sleep. It will give you something to listen to late at night. Maybe so you don't need a candle of your own. Badara, mall, some store in a mall owned by a large corporation, but perhaps we're getting ahead of ourselves here. But today is a special day. Today is good example of why shows like this are necessary and desirable. Today was the day that Alex Jones, a much louder perhaps obnoxious voice on the internet was cut short just a little bit. His platform, his accounts on a variety of social services from a variety of companies were all suddenly taken from him and suspended Pinterest, LinkedIn, Facebook, and even what you're watching this video on YouTube all decided that their users could not access him or his ideas. <coughs> We are here today to help you through the difficult, sometimes long, arduous task of falling asleep. But while we do this, Give a little bit of time in your life to these kinds of ideas, these kinds of questions that perhaps the daylight hours don't permit some research. Availability. Perhaps it's best only spoken in the dark. This is not to say that Alex Jones in particular is someone I would 
agree with or disagree with, but it's interesting that we are not allowed to know what he says if we are YouTube users. We are not allowed to hear what he says about Google or Alphabet, YouTube's parent company. What is it that Alex Jones says today? What does Alex Jones think is so dangerous? Let's just look into that a little bit tonight. One of the things that Alex Jones and Infowars.com wanted to get across, and which Alex Jones considered to be one of the important parts of his getting banned off of Facebook and YouTube, etc., is the question of the government of China and its censoring. Of perhaps its citizens in China, perhaps more than that. The company Google has a long history of dealing with the government of China. Quite a few years ago, Google even went to the extent of leaving China entirely, rather than submit to the government and its requests to censor. a lot more. This was before the Snowden revelations that showed how deep the U.S. government and its misinformation campaigns, its psychological manipulation campaigns, its own various activity went. Google left China because the government of China tries to censor what its citizens can see, what its citizens can read, what programs perhaps they are allowed to write. There is a great deal of freedom in China. This is something perhaps Alex Jones misses. I have met many people from China who think that they were free. There may be aspects of life in China that were more democratic, even more responsive to the political will of its citizens than even here in the West.
before things started to go wrong. But at the same time, there are limits. There are things you cannot say. Things officially which you are not allowed to know. And there are limits to the ability to organize, to engage in political activity. Google allowed its users to flirt with these limits. Though it agreed at first to censor content for the government of China, it told its users that such censorship was taking place in hopes that the users would at least know they didn't know. Later on, Google caught what they understood to be a large hacking attack on their infrastructure by the government of China. And they left because the government of China does not have the best interest of their users at heart. They were very public about this at the time. I remember Google's motto used to be do no evil. Years later, Google split into other companies under the umbrella company Alphabet. Alphabet did not have the requirement to, quote, do no evil. But the internal structure of Google had changed over the years. It had become a publicly traded corporation. publicly traded corporations in the United States have legal responsibilities. Their structure forces them to act in certain ways, ways easily describable. evil at times. Google, in particular, worked with the U.S. government. Both the National Security Agency, the NSA, but also the U.S. State Department. Julian Assange wrote a book. I haven't gotten my hands on it yet. Called When WikiLeaks Met Google. But apparently 
composing of Google with the power of the United States government. But over this time, the ideological force within Google to prevent censorship, to shield human rights activists from their government in China and elsewhere, became not as important. Jones are returning to China. They've either built or have agreed to build either by jigsaw or something else a system of censorship that will work with the government of China and their requirements. This is the message Alex Jones thinks is too dangerous for audiences in YouTube. It's dangerous because China also has a history of exporting its censorship beyond mainland China, beyond Asia. But to those countries universities, anywhere that it can strong arm any network infrastructure, it is allowed to control. have been instances of network level censorship in the Americas in both Chinese software like QQ and Tencent, whatever the current sensors, but in a way it's no longer different than Google and YouTube, which over the years has implemented its own filtration, its own moderation, automated artificial intelligence assisted silencing of voices the automated implementation of mandatory ignorance of knowledge once is not allowed to share. Microsoft similarly has a long history of censorship. 
the most recent is they are willing to censor certain words spoken over Skype. They have not, as far as I am aware, published their list of dirty words. But there's no reason why they couldn't tag phone gong onto the end of their list. The tools once built can be repurposed. The tools have been built, not just by Google, not just by Microsoft, not just by Amazon, Apple, Pinterest, a whole cottage industry dedicated spying on and silencing human rights activists and other political activity has developed over the past decade. WikiLeaks has exposed some of it. thing to note is that the threat of large companies using this technology on the American people, on YouTube users, is real. A small degree, but a growing one. Facebook, Google, Alphabet already censor blasphemous speech in theocratic countries. China is big and powerful enough to make big demands. They have been making big demands. It must be tempting to be the first to return to China for Google, those dollars in profit lost to its Chinese competitors. They may not have a choice, according to US law, which may require that they chase those profits. Regardless of the reason, Google does censor, Apple does censor. The question of who censors who almost doesn't matter, because once built and deployed on the scale they are deployed at, their use will grow. This is the hard truth Alex Jones forces us to hear, even if we are not ready to hear it. Alex 
Jones, me be right on the ball on other things. He may in between things that he is completely wrong about occasionally have insight as well. useful to have someone in your community, maybe someone you know, <clears throat> maybe someone in your family who listens to him, just to see what he's going on about, to investigate his claim. Do research before sharing to verify, but to listen because sometimes even a broken clock is right, and even Alex John. This case, you should know that YouTube is not, at least anymore, a place where you can be sure that what you are hearing Is all there is. That the government of China can't decide for you what you should know. enjoyed this, if it has helped you to get to sleep, when you wake up, leave a comment in this thread. I hope you enjoyed Prison Plan Slip, and if you Go visit Alex Jones in com. But beware, because if you use Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Google, and or Microsoft might keep track. Use the Tor browser if you can, but then know Alex Jones' website. Accessing it. Cloudflare, another US company with ties to censorship in China, might also keep track.
Good sleep.